Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I want to talk about Apple's next major update for the iPhone, iOS 16.1, and when we can expect the first beta for Apple's next major update. Now, you may be thinking, well, I don't even have iOS 16 installed on my iPhone, so why are we talking about iOS 16.1? Well, believe it or not, it is a week from today when Apple will be holding the iPhone 14 event on September the 7th, and that means that iOS 16.0 it's pretty much done and wrapped up, right? Development on 16.0 is completed. This software will soon be released to the public. So we're gonna talk about expected release dates for iOS 16.0 and when we can expect the next beta for iOS 16.1 because of course Apple continues to move fairly quickly with new software updates and improvements to the iPhone. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick preview of what to expect with iOS 16.1. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news, and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now a lot of these features and information that I wanted to share with you guys is based on features that did not make it into iOS 16 and based also on previous history where we see Apple add changes to existing features. And I want to start off with the lock screen. Apple has added live activities to the lock screen of your iPhone where you can sort of interact and keep track of things that are happening in real time. So if you order food, for example, you can track your food delivery in real time instead of getting constant notifications. This feature did not make it officially into iOS 16.0. Although it is being tested, Apple will most likely push it forward and release it with iOS 16.1. And now we have live activities with music, which is super cool to interact with here on the lock screen. But yeah, this feature, live activities, will most likely make its official debut with iOS 16.1. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the lock screen. As you may or may not know, the lock screen of iPhone is one of the biggest updates with iOS 16 here. You can customize it, you can add widgets, you have this depth effect. And Apple will, of course, continue to build upon this features within the lock screen of iPhone with iOS 16.1. Expect additional options to customize your iPhone. Expect maybe additional wallpapers that support the always on display that's rumored to be coming to the iPhone 14. Maybe new wallpapers, new categories, new widgets to be added to the lock screen here. And also I'm hoping that Apple will finally allow users to edit these shortcuts on the lock screen here, the flash and the camera icons that we see here. Now, this is something that I'm hoping for. This isn't something that Apple has mentioned that they will be doing, but hopefully they can go ahead and address this situation here because I always say you can press on the camera here, but you can also swipe on the camera here, which is kind of redundant to have those two actions next to each other. But anyway, hopefully we see additional features, customization options, and hopefully additional shortcuts, extensions for the lock screen with 16.1. Now, another feature that did not make the cut with iOS 16.0 is support for Matter. Now, Matter is a new connectivity standard that will allow you to have access and control more home accessories with your home application and Siri on your iPhone. Now, as I mentioned before, many companies like Google, Samsung, and now Apple have adopted this new standard, and Matter should be baked into iOS 16.1 in the near future so you can control even more devices directly from your iPhone. And of course, I'm sure Apple will surprise us with additional new features and changes, but that is a few things that I'm sure Apple will continue to improve and add to the software with 16.1. Now let's talk about expected release dates. As I mentioned, iOS 16.0, most likely RC will be available on Apple's iPhone event on September the 7th. So 16.0 RC on September the 7th will most likely get an official release on September the 12th, 13th, or 14th, that week right there. That means that once Apple releases iOS 16.0 officially to the public, the very next day, we can expect the first beta for iOS 16.1. So the week of the 12th, we'll most likely see, September the 12th that is, we'll most likely see iOS 16.1 developer beta one. And of course, in this channel, I'll keep you guys updated with some of the latest new features. Make sure to subscribe. But yeah, this was a quick preview of iOS 16.1. Some of the features that did not make the cut to 16.0 that Apple will most likely continue to approve upon with the next major update. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. What are you looking forward to? Is there something you want Apple to add to the iPhone's software that they have not yet added? Let me know in those comments down below, guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.